I've been saying for some time that Republicans are preparing for minority rule. They know they are going to get their clocks cleaned in 2020 if Democrats do what's necessary, if progressives do what's necessary. So what have they been doing? And it's like I've said constantly, they're using the portion of our system that isn't democratic, and that is the judiciary. So what are they doing? They are packing the courts. Check this out, and then we'll take it on the other side. The Senate filled its final vacancy on the Circuit Court of Appeals today. Corey Wilson's confirmation marks a major victory for Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell and President Trump. They now have 200 judicial confirmations under their belts. The American Constitution Society says McConnell's success at confirming so many lifetime conservative judges means the bench is now younger, more white, and more male. Joining us now is NBC congressional correspondent Leanne Caldwell. So, Leanne, anybody who studied Mitch McConnell knows that this has been one of the main goals, if not the goal, uh, for his time as speaker, or I'm, I'm sorry, his time as majority leader um, in Congress, in the Senate. That's right, Katie. McConnell has had this strategy and this saying of leave no vacancy behind. He has moved extremely close to that today. He hit a milestone with the circuit courts, or the Court of Appeals, which is the second highest court in the land, where he confirmed the 53rd person, which means no more vacancies are left in that court. That's an accomplishment that McConnell says that hasn't happened in at least 40 years. But while he has successfully shifted the makeup of the court more conservative, he's also made the court less diverse. They are more white, more male, and younger. So here's some statistics. Under Trump, 76% of judges are men compared to 58% under Obama. And as far as race is concerned, nearly nine out of 10 judges are white compared to six and a half out of 10 judges under Obama. Now, the person that was confirmed today was Corey Wilson to sit on the Fifth Circuit. He was opposed by all Democrats and Republican Maine Senator Susan Collins because of his position on Obamacare and other inflammatory statements that he's made. But McConnell is walking away today saying that this is a significant win for conservatives and himself and the president. And that's what we're talking about. We have a Supreme Court or rather, it's circuit courts and all the courts that McConnell is filling looks nothing like America. These are lifetime positions. They are mostly filled by white men co that are conservative, which also means that any progressive policies will come under attack every time they're passed. So what we're going to have to do going forward is win big, and not only win big, but start talking about the courts seriously and all the remedies necessary to solve that problem. And there are, in fact, remedies. I'm Egberto Willis, host of Politics Done Right, an independent news program. I post several news videos of interest every day. I ask you so kindly to subscribe to my channel, and please leave me some comments. Thank you very much.